Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. It is now mid-May and things are going well. We've got a few jobs to do, <laughs> one of which is to uh, carry on or get started on clearing out our um, <laughs> logs that we've cut down. Just checking in on our productions, what we've got going here, stacking up nicely. Now, I have had an alert from the store because I'm trying to keep track of items. Um, that I want and there is a tractor there I keep sounding like a bigger tractor and there is one second hand that's I don't think is too big for us and would probably fit in quite nicely with the farm it's a bit newer than other things we've been purchasing lately um, and there's also um, a used cultivator up there which I think will be a bit <laughs> a bit better for us uh, with regard in our new larger field so uh might try and get up and grab them in a bit. I'm just checking in. I want to do... I was thinking I might move some hay over, but the, f the trough is looking really well. Because we're going to be cutting soon as well. And uh, getting more hay, getting more silage. Probably only going to do two cuts this year. So we'll probably do one in April. Because I think the grass, this grass doesn't really matter because that one wasn't cut last time. Just uh, having a little study. In, um, in trying to do these and uh, not stacking them like I was before and being miles ahead, um, sometimes it's two or three days before I come back and uh, I forget sometimes what we were doing and uh, where we were at. So we've got our... What have we got in here? Sorry. Um, canola. Our big canola field. Yeah, this is the one that we're going to want a bigger uh, cultivator on. They've got a nice shallow uh, disc harrow, which I think would be perfect for that. We've got um, a drill that does uh, cultivate at the same time, but we just want to sort of sometimes go over it, depending on the crops that we're going to do. But yeah, this grass isn't ready yet, but it'll probably be ready April by the looks of it. So yeah, we'll probably get it cut in here. Uh, other crops aren't ready. So uh, I think since the hay was looking good, I don't need to fill that up. We're going to head over to the store and we're going to get this second-hand tractor before it disappears. I don't know, our cultivator might be alright. I'll decide on the way up. I'm going to go by foot. So what we have up here today um, is the Lamborghini Mac 250 uh, the T4i VRT. This is... Uh, 269 horsepower, 37 miles an hour. So it's only going to cost us 83 grand. I think this is way too good to pass up on. We've passed up on some really good tractors and uh, I'm kicking myself for it. So the fact that this is here, 83 grand, I think it's got 36 months on it. Uh, it's, that's all good with me. So uh, I'm buying this, treating myself. Now the cultivator that they've got for sale, or is the the shallow disc arrow, is um, the Piscini. This is six. Was it six point nine meters? Ours is five meters. I think I'm going to stick with what we got. I am for now. If this is still here in a few days and I've reconsidered, then uh, you know we might we might get it. But I think mine is uh, perfectly fine for what we're going to be doing. So let's take a look at this little Lambo. I have to turn the light on, it's a bit dark over here. <laughs> Tree. Um, I think this is a nice, nice looking mod. This is a lovely second hand Lamborghini. I say 260 odd horsepower. That's that's gonna do us for so long. It's gonna it's gonna allow us to get new equipment, bigger equipment, really sort of step our game up. Uh, looks clean and tidy inside. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Right, let's get it back to the farm. I am pleased about that. Under 100 grand as well. So we've still got 235,000 to play with. Which is good. I'm also in the market for another field. Uh, I want a particular crop in this field. I'd like it to be ready <laughs> for, when, for when I... Uh, 
when I purchase it. So I'm, I'm keeping track of a couple of fields at the minute. And we might find later in the year, hopefully we've got the money and uh, we'll be able to uh, purchase a new field. I am so pleased about this tractor. This is going to make life so much easier with certain things, especially now just just being able to get some bigger stuff, to get bigger cultivators, to, to be able to pull um, more uh, <laughs> silage. We can get a bigger silage trailer and pull more silage. Uh, we have only just brought the bigger um, forage wagon, but this will open us up in a year's time, maybe maybe a little bit a bit longer than that, a couple of years' time. Uh, a new forage wagon, something bigger. It's, this is this is going to change. <laughs> this is going to change things for us. I'm so pleased. Right. Now, with there not being other jobs, particularly on the farm that we need to do, I'm happy to let the milk build up until we've got more to sell. I want to go and find where I've put the uh, the log the trailer. Now. Is this going to come back and bite me in the ass and be too big to uh, to get through on some of this stuff? I think I put the log trailer back here. And we haven't gone for extra wide tyres or anything yet, so we should be okay getting through. Is it down here? It's not. Well, that's confused me. Where's my log trailer gone? was parked up behind the Deutz. Uh, I guess I'd already got myself prepared uh, to go out. So we'll take the Deutz, that's fine. We'll uh, save the Lambo for another day. This is already ready here. Now, we may not get all this log and done. I might try and find a few other things to do today, because if not, I'll just be uh, driving back and forth selling logs. Which, you know, we have to do to, to do what I want to do. Um, so yeah, and uh, over the last few days, I've been looking at different things and scouting out other mods and stuff that we can use on this map. And uh, there's a few other things I want to do now as well. Now I've getting this mindset of um, making it more my own and doing some different things outside of the farm itself, but whilst growing the farm. That's why I'm keeping an eye on another field. So, yeah, there's uh, lots to come here on Maypole. I'm hoping by the time we leave, Maypole is very different. If we ever leave, I've said that before, we may never leave. So we just pull in, park up. So there's uh, a lot of wood here. This is uh, a fair old bit of work for us. And I am going to be trying to handball it as well, so uh, I won't be. Well, we can't do it ridiculously big because of uh, that. We can pick that up naturally. So I'm going to use this sort of as a size marker for how big I want stuff. And then once I get in the, uh, the habit of cutting them all roughly the same sort of length, it should be alright. Now, this bit here, too worried about. It's got a lot of uh, crap, no wood on it, but we'll stick that in. Let's go round. Yeah, because only, my only issue is when there's only uh, trees to do, or logging to do, um, it's not. So it's, it's not that interesting, mainly because I'm not good at forestry. So uh, I have to, uh, well, I don't like time lapsing it too much because it gets a little bit erratic with the camera, especially with me anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll probably show a couple, uh, build the trailer, do a sail, come back, cut some more, do another trailer, that sort of thing. So how far? That's what I often do, is try and keep the same distance and then just measure like how far I've gone for the camera because there is there is a measure tape all in English that is um, but I'm just never very good at it I tried it on 19 and I'm just just 
all uh, all fingers and thumbs, to be fair. So there to there. Let's see how well that went. I'm going to have to get my muscles out for this one to start with. Not sure how many trees we cut down. I would check, but obviously it's a different day, so the uh, counter would be reset. And we've already cut down trees elsewhere, so... I'm not certain. I think there's a few here. I mean, I could quickly count them, I guess, but... <laughs> I'm not that interested in it. Just chatting, in I? Just chatting while I pick up trees. It's a good job. Uh, well, I say it's a good job. I mean, we've paid for it while we've had it, but... It's been handy. To, it's definitely handy to have kept this, I think. How are they lengthwise? Oh, they got a little bit long at the end, didn't they? First ones weren't too bad. Well, probably want to start ta stacking them the other way round as well. Not they just all start to slide off, don't they? There's a big old gap round here. No, because it's got a fat one in. Right. That looked like a long one. Where's me, uh... <laughs> where's me measuring stick? There we are. Right. Try this one. Okay. About there. Roll away from me. What should we got left? There we go, that's fine. Right. That seemed a bit quick. I might have some big bits here. I'm not gonna... Um, it's facing the other way anyway, isn't it? Yeah, so they should be the other way. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to dig out stumps with my chainsaw, like I have been doing. These ones we will probably lease, or we, well, we will lease a um, stump grinder once the ground is clear. So we can uh, use some different equipment. And next time, because there is going to be a next time, we clear some forest, some woodland. Not really a forest, is it? Um, we shall uh, lease a uh, tree cutter, tree harvester, and I'll probably bring the wheel loader down and try and stack a log trailer with the wheel loader. I am, I just, I'm just so appallingly bad using a brain to do it. It would just be horrendous to watch. Or horrendous for me to do anyway might be entertaining for others to watch so do we have a slightly smaller tree let's be, let's be measuring stick um well we've got plenty of deer out here hopefully they don't get too scared when we uh move their home about it's gonna bring that one i think i'm gonna bring it over actually because i will lose it in the long grass I don't think we worry about um, coming over and cutting the grass or anything like that before we uh, put our production on here that we're doing. I haven't seen anyone try and guess what it is we're going to do yet, so feel free to uh, guess in the comments what it is we're going to be working on. We're working towards. I'm hoping to have it started by the end of this year. Um, this isn't dependent on us having another field. That would just be for another future project, but it would be handy to have that other field anyway. I think that's going to do me for my first load, so let's uh, get some straps on. That'll do us. Right, let's back it up. Now for sure, we could probably fill that more. I think we have done in the past. But I think that's more of a sensible load for me to do. 
So I haven't got to get this all, all done today. So I don't mind if it's... Oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't see you coming out of the bush. My bad. While we're here, I'm just going to check where's best to sell it. So would we want to be taken to Carpentry? I'll show where that is. Is that not down by the wood plate? Oh, no, it's over here. Opposite the uh, the dairy. So that's where we shall go. To the carpentry. Now that should have a reasonably good um, capacity on it so we can keep delivering there, but I'll pr probably keep checking it to make sure it um, doesn't go down too quick. We want to make, we do want to make as much money as we can on this sale of wood every time. That's definitely going to be a big part of funding the future projects. I, I think today as well we might get some more cows. Just to help bolster that milk production. I want to get, get lots of cows. Not lots of cows today, but we want them to come. And I th think... They've... Personally, I think they've been a little bit slow. Now, I've got my trigger off, so I haven't got a clue where we sell this. But I'm going to guess somewhere here. Well, I th think we're pretty much sitting on where we want to be. So we've got just under five grand for that. Five grand a run, if we fill it to that extent. Not too bad. And there's going to be... Uh, straps make a funny noise. There we go. There's going to be a few runs. So uh, I'll head back and we'll uh, fill this up again. Just trying to get out of here if I can. And at some point today, we might have to uh, head up to the greenhouse to see how uh, the production is doing up there. See how our... Did I do a mistake? See, that's the trouble. I, I bet I picked it up and <laughs> put it on, didn't I? Oh, it's here. Silly fool. Yeah, um, go and check on our production. Um see what our fill levels are like and stuff like that. So I don't think we're going to have to do much there. But they were producing a fair amount of uh, strawberries, so we may need to get that storage shed I was talking about. So there could be more purchases to come. Who knows? Future me knows. Right. Your muscles out, give it a little shake. So I shall load this trailer up. You don't want to watch me do this every time. I'll load this trailer up and uh, we'll get this one sold. Now I'm just going to say, considering that's all cut from I by someone that doesn't do a lot of logging, I don't think them lengths are too bad. Not to toot my own trumpet, but no one else is going to. We've got a few long bits on there, but they're the the, uh, the the last scrappy ends of the tree. So we're going to get this lot sold. I think we might then go and treat ourselves to some more cows, just to uh, to mix this up a little bit. Get some more cows. Maybe go and check in on the greenhouses and uh, come back and sell some more logs this afternoon. Swing back in. Try not to park right on top of the uh, trigger every time. Although it should be uh, a bit more for that one. We've got some uh, thicker ends in there as well. So six grand there, so it's not too bad. Ten grand already. So we're going to hook up the uh, animal trailer to. A lovely, a lovely Lambo. Hit up under this tree. Yeah, we could. We could even invest in a bigger trailer now that it wouldn't seem ridiculous pulling it. Also, we 
because we're getting in the uh, production market, we need to be saving up to get ourselves a little lorry or something. Truck, as uh, the Americans would call it. We here we call it a lorry. So let's uh, let's get down to the animal market and uh, see what sort of cows they've got. We can go. We can nearly hit 40 miles an hour. I reckon if we went downhill at speed, we'd get 40. This is almost like playing a racing game now. Oh, I'm not used to it. <laughs> the speed. Excellent. I'm gonna be hossing about the map. Nothing to hold us back now. No reason to be late. No reason to run out of time. Lit's all. It'd be nice if they do us a good deal, since we keep. Although they do pay us really well, as I say, we do keep chopping off feed for them, but it's not like we give it to them for free. They pay us uh, a lot more for feed than we'll ever pay in uh, getting cows. Not sure if I'm in the trigger, but we'll try. Oh, we are. But I think we'll just go for some Holsteins again. We're going to go for the 12. Now, should we go? Should we pay extra and get straight on that milk? Well, they've all been producing milk no matter what age, which has been weird. Um, so, but these will put us into reproduction. No, we'll go. We'll go. Do with these. So uh, we'll buy eight. That didn't work. Well, I brought eight, and they didn't fill up the, uh, the trailer. So I'm guessing they went straight to the farm. Let's try again. Doesn't look like it's doing it. I didn't buy him at all. I, uh, I clicked back. A fool. I'm not going to cut that out. That was that was what happened. So there we go. First eight cows. We're going to um, going to get sixteen. So we'll get these back. More lovely moo moos. Then we should be able to put these in. Move them over. Send to the husbandary. So it's 124 cows. Nice, let's go get some more. This time we got it right first time and uh, got the moo moos on. Flex and our lovely Lambo. I'm sure we're turning a few heads in the area. People are going to be impressed with this. They're going to know that Maypole is on the up. Now we just have to try and remember that just because we can go nearly 40 miles an hour doesn't need, mean we need to go 40 miles an hour everywhere. Just swing, swinging the cattle about on the back as we went around corners uh, looked a little bit silly. <laughs> right. We'll get this one backed up. Get these emptied out. Join their new friends. Get fed, get fat, make milk. I'm not sure if there's a, a a weight that they've each, whether it'd be profitable for us to sell these, or do we just keep them forever as dairies? I'm still not sure if animals die. I guess at some point we'll find out. Right, so we move them over. So it's 132, and it still holds like 850. This is this is still <laughs> so empty. So empty. If we have a look, you can see that we've got quite a few in here at different sizes and what have yous. All of our chickens, they are maxed out. They're loving it. And their feed, their feeds are fine. Uh, these ones don't need to be high because they're just in the trough. Whereas this is the TMR that's coming through the robot. They haven't got no bed in. They haven't had no bed in for so long. Another reason why we need more fields, more straw. So we'll uh, detach this and then we're going to head up and check in on our greenhouses. See if we need to do anything up there. I'm sure there's something we can do with them. But the Lambo should uh, definitely make getting over here a lot easier, a lot quicker. When we do want to come and check in, looks nice. 
it has been uh, Cavalier Roy approved as well, our uh, greenhouse area. I think it looks good as you come in. The wall, the gates, the bit of shrubbery hide and stuff, but just, just see enough of it. That just impressed myself here. <laughs> and people have told me that where I was going wrong with some of my building so next time hopefully we'll uh, we'll do better I'm just gonna park in the old watering hole for now wow we've got lots lots of strawberries so they've all got five each that's pretty good it's pretty good indeed really good <laughs> Got like 12,500 at each one. I think it would be a good idea. This, this, this is going to get laggy. So it would be a good idea if we do work on getting ourselves a storage uh, facility put here. So I'm just going to mine myself out of the way. And we'll go into that beautiful building. So I'm going to go with uh, this storage container. Storage shed for strawberries. Uh, since we're doing strawberries. Now I think this holds about half a million litres. Where and how it works, I'm not 100% certain. I was going to try it all out, but I've been busy doing uh, other things, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm assuming we deliver it at the front and um, unpack them on the side. I think that, that sounds like it would make sense. So... I give it a little bit of space. If I bring this up, apparently, free mode stops the land from moving. Now I thought I had that, but obviously that turns itself on and off. I also have like the uh, other builder mods to try and help make that easier. I want to put that right next to the poo obviously probably shouldn't put it next to the poo but I think this is going to be my best spot because if I need to do more I can just do a row of them yeah so by the looks of it we uh, we drop our pallets there and when we set it to uh, unload they will uh, they will spawn there so let's jump in our little Massey and uh, we'll have to change the fork on the front, obviously. I'll pick up pallets like that. We'll do, we'll do a little bit of uh, packing over here. If I can get a nice smooth run of it. <laughs> I might do a little musical time lapse, you never know. Let's just get rid of that. Round and round. You all know um, what my skills are like with the loaders. If you don't, you must be new here. So we'll bring that in narrow. Because it's going to be the easiest way to get the uh, pallets. Take from here. Now, how hard can it be, eh? Shouldn't be at all. All I've got to do is pick it up, put it down. Now, little chevron box. Does it just pour? It does pour in. Now, can I place it and it's still empty? Not that I'm that quick, but I guess if we had um, like a trailer, if we'd put these onto a trailer and then driven up to uh, store them, they would then take them off the trailer. I'm not going to go through that rigmarole. We'll, uh, I'll do it like this. It's one of them things that I can come up and do sort of an evening on the farm. Let's move things into storage. 
was going to put two. I don't think two is good. I think that might tip. Might squish my strawberries as well, which we don't want to do. So, met my first issue. I'll get my tractor close enough to the uh, <laughs> to the greenhouse. Let's try and do this on one fork, which is not going to be good. You may have to uh, just accept defeat, and that we need pallet truck. Let's get in there and get that. I don't know why it won't slip under. That is definitely low enough. Perhaps it's just too low. Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to be good, is it? That's why I push them right out and just get them from the middle, middle pathway. Well, I definitely think a <laughs> pallet truck or a little skid steer, maybe. Uh, if we had a little skid steer, we could put the uh, pallet forks on and a, a bucket or a grab for the manure. We could could trade in the Massey for a skid steer. Um, I started to get frustrated after the pallet got stuck, so I'll probably <laughs> cut a lot of that out. It won't be a long... Um, time lapse a really short one of me getting frustrated with a pallet stuck in the ground and it weren't the mod that was me just smashed it in right let's see how much we've got stored so it's at the bottom of the productions storage shed and uh 75 000 liters of strawberries and yeah this is going to hold a lot and i think we can probably set that um we click on that we can change its outputs we could probably set it to deliver or to store, deliver, sell direct, much like the greenhouses. But with the light dwindling, I don't think I'll be uh, doing any logging anytime soon this evening. Um, until I've made a decision on what to do about moving these, it may be a case of uh, I just pop up at night uh, every couple of pop up every couple of nights and um, move them over. Sometimes if it if it goes smoothly I'll keep it in. If not it's just it's not worth the hassle. But they look good. Nonetheless they look good. A skid steer would fit down there nice and easy as well I think. We'd be able to just turn it on the spot. Same as a pallet truck. That might be the way forwards. So we're going to head back shut this up, keep it safe. I want no one nicking my strawberries. I'll head back to the farm. So I don't think that's been a too bad a day. We've got a little bit, one of them days we've got a little bit of everything done. We've gone out, we've worked on our new plot, got a little bit of wood moved. Um, sold some wood. Done our strawberries. We've got some more cows, which is uh, always good. More animals is always good. And Brake lights aren't very bright, are they? Or reverse lights, sorry. Um, yeah, tomorrow is probably just going to be me um, doing the logging. Like I said, I don't think that's exceptionally interesting. Um, so I'll probably do March, th May 3 um, off screen. I'll do that all myself. I'll just sell the logs. I won't do nothing else. And then in April, we'll probably come back. I'll take you, I'll show you the land. We'll get a mulcher. 
or a, a stump grinder. Get rid of the stumps. And I think our grass will be ready to go. I might also uh, experiment and look at the um, greenhouses and see if I can have that set so they automatically get sent to the storage. Because you can have them set to distribution. Um, whether they'll distribute them to there or not. I might fiddle with one of them and see if a pallet turns up or doesn't turn up uh, when the other ones are spawning pallets. So anyway, yeah, I'll see you in uh, April. Um, when we come in, I'll also show you my finances so you can see that any money we've we've been made has uh, come from the, uh, the Sailor Woods. And yeah, we may even have some honey and stuff. I want to store the honey. I want to keep some of that. But we might, might do some with the eggs or whatever. We'll have a look. We'll see how April falls. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn your bell notification on. Find out when new videos come live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.